Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, I spent the large portion of my weekend streaming, mostly playing Minecraft, but I took breaks, three of them, uh, of exactly one hour each, to play Splatoon, because it was that, or nothing, as far as Splatoon demo was concerned. Nintendo dictated to people that uh, the demo would be open for Saturday and Sunday only, Australian time, and only for three windows of time, one hour long each, unlike what everyone else would be calling a demo, and that is you download it, you play it as much as you like until the thing launches, and even then I guess you can still play the demo. But, of course, Nintendo are um, unconventional when it comes to demos these days, even on the 3DS. Oh, you get to play this 20 times and then you can't play it anymore. <laughs> well, anyway, it, it was what most people would call a beta test, like Destiny, for example, had the alpha and the beta server stress testing, basically. That's what happened with Splatoon. So, I had no other option but to obey the, the dictated terms of, of playtime from Nintendo to play Splatoon. I'm glad I did, though, because it turns out this is the only online shooter that I've ever played that I enjoyed playing. Every other shooter, I, if it doesn't have a single-player mode, a campaign mode, I, I'm really not interested because playing online with these things is just a nightmare for me personally. It, it doesn't suit my personality type. I don't, I don't like the people who play these games. Obnoxious, loud, screaming, abusive douchebags, toolkits, cockhammers don't appreciate it. So I tend to avoid it and have done for years and years and years. And unfortunately, these days, shooters are just online or... Or, or shitty campaigns, basically. We all know how frustrating that can be. Well, I know how frustrating that can be. Maybe you do as well, but Splatoon is different. There is no voice chat, which makes it hard to work as a team, I will admit, but it does, you know, make sure that you get family-friendly experience, pretty much, because no one can tell your, uh, your, your 13-year-old kid that they're a, um, a faggot, for example. God, I hate that word. So, it's a brilliant game. Basically, the, the demo beta test consisted of a couple of different maps there I think there are five maps in total coming out on launch of the game and then more coming later and in dribs and drabs and more features and you can't even set up your own team and, and have friend play yet that's that's a that's an option coming after launch sometime and it's the launch and and the, and the what you get on launch day versus what Nintendo are promising is, is another whole different story of, of misery and, and Nintendo just being so stupid and, and it makes you feel like the game is being rushed out the door because they had to you know, had to delay, you know, the, 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 the Zelda game. And, well, we have to get something out right soon now. And, well, we do this. And, and we'll get the other features ready a couple of months' time after launch. And then we'll feed them out and we'll call it free DLC. And, uh, the good news is I had a blast, is, is the point I'm trying to get at. It is a really fun game. Territory control, sort of non-violent. You know, you get splattered and you respawn straight away. You tap on the, on the controller where you want to join your teammates on the map. You can glance down, see how much of the map is covered in your paint versus the teammates' paint. And the idea is to control as much territory as possible on the map in, in these main multiplayer game modes. And it's really very, very fun. There were four different weapons to choose from. Basically, they're equivalent of, say, a pistol, an assault rifle, a shotgun, and a sniper rifle. I chose the roller, which is kind of a shotgunny kind of thing, very short range, but very effective over that short range. You can just, just paint a, a, a pavement of paint all the way across the land and, and control territories very, very quickly. But you'll usually lose on a one-on-one -on -one fight if someone's got a pistol. Buh, 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 buh. And, and I did die a lot, but, you know, I, I also killed a lot too. Well, splattered a lot, not killed, but splattered, which sends them back to base and all that sort of stuff. And, and, and the, the way you move around these arenas, the way the arenas are designed, the, the speed and, qu and, and, and snappiness of the, the rounds, which are quite uh, short in comparison to some shooters out there, it, it, it was a very hectic and fun experience. And when I did lose, or when my team lost, or, or, or when I personally got splattered, uh, you know, a couple of times in a row by someone who was really, really good with a sniper rifle, for example, which happened quite a lot. Because when you're when you're running around with a roller, there's very little you can do against a sniper. You just have to kind of avoid them and try and flank them and sneak out behind them, which is a lot of fun. But, you know, in some shooters, you know, people get really aggro. Ah, hacks, no! In this game, the, the entire mood of the game infects you and it's joyful and fun. You oh, got me, fair enough. Oh, coming to get you again. And it's it, it was unlike any shooter I have ever played, uh, online shooter in, in particular, and I was looking forward to this because it's a very Nintendo thing to do, to take a genre that we are familiar with and then do something completely different uh, with it and, and, and just sort of reshape the entire 
expectation of that kind of game and they've done it time and time again with rts stuff with with you know rpg stuff and now with shooters they've, they've just splashed down a, a big nintendo stamp on it and went this is how we do it what else you got uh, and it's brilliant the music is is just thumping and chugging i love the art style you should go online by the way go on twitter or something and or DeviantArt or wherever you go to look for fan art look for the splatoon fan art there is some brilliant stuff coming out already uh, after people have experienced the game oh, oh this game is brilliant i i love these little squiddy characters it's fun and th- th- there's this brilliant fan art coming out and i think i might try and pick up a paper and pen and, and try my own sketches i should have made a script for this video i'm just rambling off the top of my head uh, all the all the various thoughts about my my three hours total over two days playing splatoon i streamed all of them um uh, every session and and i just had a blast i was i was always having fun there was never a moment when i wasn't having fun except for well the 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 two sort of sections where where I couldn't get a, a connection team together, but by and large the servers worked really really smoothly. And I was making we were making jokes on my Twitch stream about um, the Splatoon servers being uh, banks and banks of of unsold Wii U units, which I thought was kind of funny. I can't remember who made the joke originally, but I kind of ran with it. Uh, <laughs> but the service worked really well. I didn't detect any sense of lag or, or anything like that. You know, there wasn't people popping all over the map. The netcode seemed fine. And all this was happening, you know, you know, st- online play while I was streaming to Twitch as well. Uh, and it worked magnificently well. I'm, I'm just sort of pleasantly surprised and, and bewildered that I found an online shooter that is fun and that I like. There is nothing about it I don't like at this stage except for how it's being rolled out. It seems like a very limited day one experience and, and unfolds as a game. But Nintendo say they've got a long-term plan for it. I wouldn't be surprised, by the way, if we see a Splatoon mobile game, because Nintendo are doing mobile games now. I would I would expect a free-to-play Splatoon mobile game, because the way Splatoon is, is it works on the Wii U, it seems like they wanted it to be free-to-play in the beginning and then, then changed their minds and panicked at the last minute. Because, the, the, you know, you buy... You earn cash in the game and you buy accessories for in, and fashion clothes, which gives you bonus of, of various types to, to your weapons or to your abilities and all that sort of stuff. And it feels like that system could very easily be turned into a free-to-play experience. And I think that's might what happened on mobile, probably a, you know, a top-down isometric kind of thing. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm just guessing here. But it, it feels like it, it could very easily be turned into that. I wouldn't be surprised at the moment, actually, if there was... One of those, those nasty Chinese developers out there developing a knockoff right now for Android. And there's probably going to be 1,200 knockoff games like this uh, uh, very soon hitting various mobile forms. And, and Nintendo will come and stomp on them because, I don't know. Another reason to actually turn on my Wii U. Got to be happy about that, I suppose. Gonna, uh, I had to clean off the dust. Actually, I know I did. I'll tell a lie. I cleaned off the dust like a week ago when, when the Mario Kart DLC stuff was happening. Or, no, what was I doing on the Wii U? I was doing something on the Wii U. I forget what it was, but I had to dust my Wii U because it hadn't been used in so long. Never have that problem with my PS4. Not even my Xbox One, actually. Anyway, thanks for watching. I am Blunty. We'll catch you next time. Join me on Twitch for more bullshit rambling as I play games. Um, and, and subscribe here and all that sort of stuff. And give me a thumbs up and, and share and a like and all that kind of bullshit people tell you to do at the end of their videos. Like you're an idiot who can't figure it out for yourself. I like that video. What do I do now? Give it a thumb up! Okay, D. I I prefer not to treat my audience like idiots until they ask me a stupid question. Then I'll treat you like an idiot. Um, bye. (laughs) What?